What's good, guys? This story just broke roughly 1.40 p.m. Central Time. ZZ Top bassist Dusty Hill dead at 72 after hip injury. ZZ Top's longtime bassist Dusty Hill has died. He passed away at his home in Houston, Texas, according to his bandmates Billy Gibbons and Frank Beard. They write, quote, We are saddened by the news today that our compadre, Dusty Hill, has passed away in his sleep at home in Houston, Texas. We, along with the legions of ZZ Top fans around the world, will miss your steadfast presence, your good nature, and enduring commitment to providing that monumental bottom to the top. We will forever be connected to that blue shuffle and sea. They added, you will be greatly missed, amigo. Unclear if Dusty's death is in any way related to another health scare he recently suffered, namely a hip injury that the band said he had to address in the past week or so, forcing him to bow out of a string of shows across the U.S. with his bandmates. This post from Facebook uh, says the members of ZZ Top, Billy and Frank, would like to share that Dusty, their fearless bass player, is on a short detour back to Texas to address a hip issue. They await a speedy recovery and have him back pronto. Per Dusty's request, the show must go on. With that directive, ZZ Top has put the services of Mr. Elwood Francis, their trusted guitar tech of the past two decades, into play with his slide guitar, bass guitar, and harmonica playing in full swing. And with Elwood, Elwood to our right, rest assured ZZ Top will deliver their good time signature show. ZZ Top addressed the setback on Facebook not too long ago in what I just read. The group has yet to speak on Dusty's passing. They have a show scheduled for tonight in Simpsonville, South Carolina, but something says that they'll be canceled in light of the tragic news. That's a picture of them from 1983. And if you're from my era, ZZ Top is just one of those bands that you know. Dusty is one of the original founding members of ZZ Top, serving as their lead bass player and secondary lead vocalist since they launched the rock band in 1969. He's also one half of the two famous bearded, sunglass-wearing men who helped make up the trio. Billy Gibbons is the other. They initially started as a bluesy act, but they eventually adopted a traditional rock sound, which they stuck with and helped them launch into the mainstream in the 70s and well into the 80s as well. Dusty was 72. Rest in power. And I'm going to end the video on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.